Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, well, the first flakes of snow will arrive tomorrow morning. First along the South Shore, places like Westerly, Newport, Narragansett. It may take uh, you know, two, three hours to finally reach uh, Providence points north. So that's the progression from a south to north. Certainly snowing everywhere by the afternoon hours. A lot to cover. Let's first well, head outside. Skies are cloudy, dry, chilly, no precipitation yet. Still south and west of New York City. So we'll stay dry this evening and right on through the overnight. 27, so certainly cold enough for snow. Wind speeds light, but they'll be ticking up hour by hour tomorrow, especially along the coastline. The strongest wind and especially tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. Just in, like within 15 minutes, the blizzard warning has been expanded now to include coastal Connecticut. So Block Island, Long Island, New York, coastal Connecticut, the Elizabeth Islands, uh, near Buzzards Bay, and the Vineyard. Does not include southern Rhode Island, but you know, it's not to say that we can't have, at times, blizzard conditions along the south shore. The combination of heavier snow on the coast, stronger wind at the coast, reduced visibility, it's not out of the question, so it's something that we'll watch. And keep in mind, uh, snow amount is not a criteria for blizzard. It's actually uh, based on wind speed and visibility. So storm system getting closer, dry overnight. Most of the snow on the coastline now, it'll be accumulating snow everywhere, enough to shovel and plow, but the higher total is six or more inches south shore with a stronger wind gust. I'll show you that accumulation map in just a second. In the meantime, a cloud streaming in, snow to our south and west of New York City. The air overhead initially is very dry, so it's hard for the snow to work in, but eventually it will. Look at a huge shield of precipitation associated with the developing storm intensifying now off the Carolina coastline, and here's the anticipated track. Far enough away so that we're not getting a blockbuster storm like D.C., but close enough to get enough snow to shovel and plow, and it certainly have an impact on travel tomorrow. All right, here's your future cast. Tomorrow morning, it's uh, 11 a.m. You see the area of low pressure offshore, the leading edge of the snow starting to work in. Widespread snow tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. This is 5 o'clock. Snowing tomorrow night. This is 10 o'clock. And then watch the whole thing edge away by early Sunday morning. In fact, a better day coming up on Sunday. But the storm system is close enough so that the windshield is certainly grazing the coastline with wind gusts anywhere between 40 and 50 miles per hour. How much snow? Still keeping the same numbers that we had back during our 5 o'clock newscast. 7 to 10 along the immediate shoreline. 4 to 7 to the north of that. That includes Providence, Metro, and Warwick, and Cranston, and some of the bigger cities. And then well to the north and west of that on the order of 1 to 3. Any little deviation in the storm track up or down will move these color bands up and down as well. So you want to check back with myself and Pete. We're going to be here tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. All right, future cast on the winds, pretty gusty. Any coastal flooding would be for east coastal Massachusetts because of the wind direction. Not anticipating coastal flooding uh, across southern Rhode Island, the south coast, because we don't have an onshore wind. But so, you know, big waves, strong wind at the beaches anyhow, uh, with wind gusting again, 40, 50 miles per hour, snow really coming down and hard the second half of the day and into tomorrow evening, looking at temperatures in the upper 20s to low 30s with increasing wind and uh, temperatures hovering around that freezing mark, so the snow sticking. I mean, really coming down heavy across uh, the south shore, places like Narragansett, Newport, and Westerly, with temperatures that'll be in the mid-30s. Again, the south shore the heavier snow and the stronger wind. Seven day future cast, better weather on Sunday, becoming partly sunny as we celebrate that Patriots victory. A temperature in the mid 30s, not bad for Monday. We're bringing the chance for snow on Tuesday. We'll keep you updated on that with a temperature coming in at around uh, 39 degrees. So enough to shovel and plow everywhere, but the higher totals right along the immediate uh, south shore, seven to 10 inches there. And yeah, we can see at the bottom of your screen a little bit ago that we have a lot of delays and cancellations already. Yeah, and there's a wealth of information, WPRI.com, uh, the blogs and things like that. So when you're not watching the newscast, go there. All right. Thank you, Tony. Coming up next, I'm